by now according to the proposal of the devil nobody will still be in lagos who would have run away to kotonu run away to ghana run away to sailor road and continue to run and everywhere you'll be seeing bomb booga bomb booga bullet boy but god came in and said no clap your hand for jesus hallelujah clap your hand for the lord they were the devil wants it you will not even know where you are not to talk about to be in the house of god so now we have opportunity we are in the house of god we give him praise we exalt him we thank him for our children we thank him for our tomorrow thank we thank him for everything he has thank done in our lives jesus. let the name of god be praised forever amen in jesus name i pray amen you may be seated in the presence of god children of god we are the most fortunate people on the face of the earth because after this world there's a place that god has prepared for us that is called the eternity that is called the kingdom of heaven in that place we will sing we will dance we will celebrate the king of kings the lord of laws the mighty man in battle he that opened the door and no man can close he that takes away bitterness he that takes away pain he that takes away frustration. He that knows where the pains are. He that knows your today. He knows your tomorrow. And he knows your forever. Where you were only liquid in your mother's womb. He knew you. And even know the name that you are bearing today. Put the hand together for him. When we have the opportunity to worship him. Let us do it as if tomorrow will not come. It's not only when he has given you Prado Jeep or Homer or Land Cruiser or uh, whatever you call it, limousine, Rolls Royce. No. When you see a new day, when you see a new moment to be in his presence, the presence of God is the most desired place that we should always desire. And as you are here, mind you that all your problems are over whatever that give you pains are disappearing whatever that make you cry they are disappearing every work of the devil against you they become a thing of the past i said they become a thing of the past in the mighty name of jesus christ tell your neighbor i am blessed say to your neighbor i am blessed i am blessed i am blessed in jesus powerful name today i would like to quickly minister to you on the topic i tag you shall not lift up your hands your heart unto other gods you shall not lift up your heart unto other gods we are in a world where there are other gods never you lift your heart unto other gods. Never you lift your heart unto other gods because we are in a world that is saturated with a lot of gods. Jesus warned them very clear that if we are not careful, even the elect may be deceived. Don't lift up your heart unto other gods irrespective of the situation no matter what you face no matter what you see no matter what you go through no matter how things are happening around you thou shall not lift up your heart unto other gods hallelujah hallelujah the greatest abomination before god is to serve other gods how is it abomination before God? God said, Thou shalt have no other God except me. But it's quite unfortunate that we are in a world that people on daily basis are busy creating gods for themselves. Anything you created is no more God. Whatever you make is not God. 
it is he who made you he who makes everything that made all that you are seeing he is the only one we should know and serve and lift up our head to him as our god children of israel had the opportunity that they had experienced god life in all their doings in all their endeavors in everything they do they experienced god they were working with god in such a way that god was manifesting himself to them in some cases god will appear to them as a pillar of fire even as a pillar of cloud god will even speak to them through the pillar of fire and pillar of cloud god was always with them leading them directing them when they have problems and they have challenges God will quickly swift into action and make them see that he is God. He bring them out of the land of uh, captivity and uh, took them to a place he has promised them. Remember, it was the promise of God in their lives that brought all the problems they were encountering. And when you look at them and the problem they were encountering, you will be like, oh, why did God allow them to encounter all those problems and those things they were passing through. God allow it so that he will know how strong they are in him. It is not enough to say, oh, daddy, I love you. You are my pastor. It is not enough. It's not enough to say, oh, I love my family. It's a good family. It's not enough to say, I love my wife. It's a good woman. It's not enough to say, I love my husband is a good man. When it will be enough is when you have passed through fire on what you said. That's when we will know whether you truly love your husband or you truly love your family or you truly love the Lord thy God. We are in a world where many things are ready to appeal to you. If you are not careful, a lot of things will appeal to you so that you will forsake the true God and serve them. We are in a world that even the Satan, the devil, has had a lot of places that are even better than where we are in the eye of human. We are here in the eyes of human. We say, oh, this church is beautiful, it's fine. Oh, we have good equipment and everything. But the devil has also gone beyond that. The devil have gone to a point, even had places better than this, decorated and well furnished. But underneath, there is a God that they are worshipping, which you don't know. Anytime a man or a woman, a believer, comes across situations, if you are not careful, those situations are for two opinions. Number one is to make you strong, and number two is to pull you down. Why are they there to pull you down or make you strong? When you stand on your ground and say, I know the God I serve and I will follow him come rain or shine. Then you become strong. But when you say, oh, where is my God? It's like my God has forsaken me. Let me find solution for myself. And before you know it, they will tell you, okay, if you say you want to find solution for yourself, can you now bow to this stone and say, stone, stone, become my God. And many people will say, is it not for me to be free? When I'm free, I will go to God and confess and accept God again. You bow to stone. Don't forget, we are in a world that is being governed by the prince of this world. Who is the prince of this world? Satan the devil. And the Bible said that we are ships sent in the midst of wolves. And it said, in the world, you will have tribulation. But in me, you will have peace. What's the meaning of that? Child of God, I want you to know there are many ways that you can follow. If you want to come to this church, you can decide to follow any other way. You can even decide to open that window and come from there. You can decide to climb the zinc and punch on the zinc and come in there. You can decide to go through another person's compound and jump into this place. Those are ways. But are they legitimate? Are they legal way? No. That's why Jesus said, I am the way, the truth, and the life. Nobody can come to the Father except by me. And this is where billions of idol worship are having it very difficult. They say, how can God, how can Christ say it? I am the only way, the truth and life. 
because they don't know what Jesus has come to accomplish on the face of the earth. Jesus came that he might show us the way to the Father. And the way to the Father is the way that the word of God has put down for us. And so the Lord now continue to warn and continue to instruct us to be careful before the very elect, the very chosen of the Lord, the very children whom the Lord have said, you are my children, I am your God. Be careful before you are deceived to worship other gods. When the Lord saved the Israelites, can we turn our Bibles to the book of Deuteronomy chapter 4. Deuteronomy chapter 4. Deuteronomy, please. Open your Bible to Deuteronomy chapter 4. I want to show you what happened to the Israelites and why the Lord is giving us this very instruction today for us not to be the victim of today, but to be the victors of today. Deuteronomy chapter 4, look at verse 19. And he said, And least thou lift up thy eyes unto hidden, and when thou seest the sun and the moon and the stars, even all the host of heaven, should that be driven to worship them? Oh my God. Hallelujah. And serve them, which the Lord thy God has divided unto all nations under the whole heaven. Be careful. Be watchful. Be alert. So that you shall not lift up thy eyes or lift up thy heart to worship other gods. As a result of your challenge, as a result of your difficulty, as a result of your persecution, as a result of, oh, I don't have money, things are not working fine, I am not doing well, things have gone wrong, my business is down, my finance is down, my marriage is not working, look at what happened to my marriage, look at what happened to my children, look at what happened to my destiny, look at what happened to this. And uh, you are not careful enough, you now be a victim of idol worship. The world we are today, some billionaires has made gods for themselves. I haven't heard of the one that was rumored, let us call it alleged, that a billionaire, the richest man on earth, said by this year, November, he will bring out his artificial wife, where he's going to produce everything even to extend the wife that they want to produce, computer wife, machine wife, will even mesurate like women. Can you imagine? You know what wife is all about? Eh? You know what wife is all about? Somebody now want to produce his own wife and sell to Africa, which means all our women will not see husband to marry again. <laughs> God forbid evil. I say God forbid evil. Somebody say God forbid evil. Why is that coming up? It's coming up because the world has started making a lot of gods for themselves. Even the gods that our forefathers worship are no longer the gods that the people of nowadays are worshipping. Some of them say, oh, that one an old god. Let's go and bring a new god from India. Some say, oh, that one, they don't have enough sacrifice. Let us make ritual. Let us enter court. Let us enter this. And people are jumping into different things in the name of that they want to make gods for themselves. And the Lord now said, be careful so that you don't worship other gods. I want to let you know that it's not everything that glitter that is gold. Sometimes you will see things that are glittering. You look at how they are glittering. You look at how people are chasing after them. You look at how things are going. You say, oh, these people are doing well. They are making it. Look at how they are being blessed. They have cars. They have these. You don't know what they have lifted up their heart and their souls to. I even heard of the one they call soul the soul to the devil. Amen? They call that...